What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Gunner Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder and Tyson Fury. Now, get this Deontay Wilder will try to force Tyson Fury into a trilogy clash through mediation after initiating a dispute resolution clause in his contract, pulling Gypsy King's UK homecoming fight next month in doubt. OK, Tyson Fury uh, currently is um, he has a WBC title. <clears throat> he wants to fight at Royal Albert Hall on December 5th, but reports claim that Wilder's Clank camp are attempting to force the trilogy fight. OK. Um, Fury is pushing ahead with plans to make his homecoming and the first defense of his WBC title after beating Wilder in February via seventh round stoppage. But um, Wilder's camp claims that they have initiated a dispute resolution provision in attempt to force the third fight, which would put Fury's homecoming at risk. Hmm. Fury's UK based promoter, uh, top rank, the Gyp and the Gypsy King has said themselves claim that they are no longer legally obligated to comply with a rematch clause that was inserted in their contract for their fight in Las Vegas nine months ago. The report claims a judge that is retired will act as a mediator and review the contracts that were signed ahead of the Wilder Fury 3, or should I say 2. The trilogy bout had originally been scheduled for October, but the inability to have a crowd in attendance due to the coronavirus pandemic saw it pushed back before discussions were abandoned after fa failing to settle on a date and the expiration of Wilder's rematch clause. And the report adds that after the proposed trilogy fight in December fell through, Top Rank believes that there is no longer any obligation on their part. Well, let me counterpunch. Obviously, that uh, they had a mediation group. What that means, media. I was just involved in a mediation situation with a couple of the channels, right? And it was more of a, um, it's more of a voluntary thing than something to force. Regardless of what this article says, and this article is by the Daily Mail. You know, that's their way to try to force by getting someone or that represents Tyson Fury uh, over to wherever they're going to be and look at the contracts together, you know, and they can come to some type of middle ground on how they can have this fight uh, take place due to how the contracts were and to see which one is valid. So this is kind of like something you do before you sue somebody, because if you if they can't come to an agreement, this is what happens before you sue. Not this is a suing. This is not a fucking lawsuit. This is a mediation. This is when two people come together and see if we can resolve this to get this fight done. I say there's nothing wrong with that. I say there's nothing wrong with that at all. I, I think that um, this should have had took place way before Wilder said anything about all that other shit. And speaking of all that other shit, where the fuck is that? Because it, it seems like to me you want to... Look, you got a mediation group to get a third fight with a person that you said last week cheated you. Not only him, but your trainer, the officials, the ref, and damn near everybody else except him that had something to do with him losing that night, February 22nd. And he said it and he told all. He, he, he silenced everybody by breaking his silence. Well, he didn't silence everybody. He just really broke his silence because everybody else had what they, you know, their two cents to say about uh, what Wilder said, including me. Um, I think and I feel that that should have been done before uh, the mediation should have been done before him ever saying, hey, I think this happened and I think this guy did this and I think that guy did that and I think my guy did this. You know what I'm saying? And it just makes you think like, OK, that's backwards, because it seems like if you really wanted to fight that guy, why are you doing that shit after you talked all that shit? You would do that beforehand. Like, uh, 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 uh. 
you're not getting out of the fight. So let's bring the mediating group before. So let me hold off on what I got to say before I say that, because then let's think. And, I, and, and this is my only this is my only um, logical answer on why a reason on why Wilder did what he did. Wilder did what he did, because when he found out Tyson Fury uh, was going to run off and leave him once again and leave him holding the bag with a contract either that, that he had already agreed upon, which Tyson Fury does that shit. I keep telling people he does that shit. But he got I think Tyson, I mean, think Deontay got so angry to the point he didn't think logically. See, Wilder's an emotional guy. He's an emotional creature. So he ought to, he got pissed off. He was mad. He was fucking livid. And then that's why he decided, you know what? Fuck it. Call call uh call Blue Blood. Fuck it. Call uh uh 78 Sports TV. I got some shit to say. And that's what I think happened. And I think he did that before really even thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I think he just uh acted you know what I mean? Instead of he, I think he before he, he let his emotions, you know, put him into that situation where he told everything. You know what I'm saying? And, and it doesn't make sense. See, now you want that guy that you call a cheater to come together with some 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 retired judge to look at a contract. OK, and I can tell you right now, the contracts that they claim that's expired or whatever, I think it wasn't I don't think it was Wilder's fault. I don't necessarily think it was fucking Fury's fault. I think it was the network's fault. The networks are some greedy fucking things. There is it's a greedy corporation. Think about it. You had Showtime, you had ESPN, and you had PBC, you had Fox. Now you didn't even have Showtime. You had Fox, you had PBC, and you had uh, ESPN. And between those, they couldn't get a venue together. And, I, and and what it was, the networks did not want to fork over that amount of money without that extra revenue. That's what it was. Bob Arum spoke a little bit about that, too. And he was like, well, a fight to this magnitude shouldn't be fought in a bubble. It should be fought with a crowd. But he said that because he knows the crowd is going to bring that revenue to pay these guys. That's where the money's coming from. OK, so they ain't going to just rely on pay-per-view because, again, networks are greedy. So I can already tell you when a judge looks at that and if he looks at it with, you know, with uh, with, with, with some sense, yo, well, the networks are, are the reason why the contract expired. If the contracts expired, it's not the fault of Team Fury or a way to slither out of that. You know what I mean? It, it's just what it was because of the coronavirus, which is something that what happens every 100 years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, so who knew that was coming? Then you had the injury from Wilder. That was the only thing that put him back. But that he was injured. So if he was injured, he had to recover. So if he recovered, okay, he couldn't train until he recovered, until he healed. You know what I mean? So they pushed it back and then the networks took over with their malarkey and that bullshit. So it, it's a lot of things to be considered with it. And the one, number one thing, if you have all these type of complications, you have all these many factors involving um, these two do, these two fighters, not fighting again, the last thing you want to do is one side to get personally pissed off at another side. And I think Deontay Wilder was personally pissed off at Tyson Fury. That's why he decided to say, you know what, this is what I think of you and everybody in around in that second fight. And when he did that, according to yesterday or the day and a half ago, Tyson Fury said, you know what, I'm not even going to fight at you at all. So my thing is, my counterpunch is, good luck with bringing somebody with Team Fury there if they don't have to be there. Because a mediation is not something that you have to be on. You don't have to be at a mediation. You know what I mean? If, if Wilder's going to sue, he just needs to sue. Because if they, if, if he's just really wasting his time because this is a step that he should have took before. Not, hey, I think you're a cheat. You had shit in your gloves. My trainer was a snake. Fuck. The referee was on your side. Everything was against me. You know, and then then you're going to go in, oh, well, let's mediate. No, you don't do that after you already talked all that shit. You were already mad, so you shouldn't have done that. You know, and, and, and it, it reminds me of the situation I was in. A person went to shut my channel down, and they went to shut my channel down. Then they called a mediator. So I'm thinking, okay, well, that's some classic shit right there, because both of you motherfuckers think alike. You do some emotional shit before really thinking about it. You know what I mean? So it, a, lot of, a lot of it was based on maliciousness because of how you felt personally about a part, particular person. 
And I think that's what it is with Team Wilder. I think Team Wilder at this point should have just chilled out, should have took it easy instead of um, spilling the beans like he did. He could have done that after the fight was over with. But again, moving forward, what's done is done. So if it can't be resolved by this mediation, hopefully somebody shows up from Tyson Fury's side for this mediation and they can get this fight on the way. We won't have any other problems, but if it doesn't, we're going to have more problems. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Team Wilder trying to force Tyson Fury for that third fight. Of course, please subscribe. I'll leave the link below. Hit the bell icon and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.